ultrasound of a gravida 3 uh, patient obstetric scan I have focused a single largest amniotic fluid pocket without including any fetal part or and or uh, the umbilical cord and uh, the single largest one, uh, umbilical, uh, sorry, the amniotic fluid pocket in world measures 18 centimeter which is consistent with fully high amniotes. And this is the cause for what he has been referred to me. Now the strange thing is that he has been referred at a stage, why not earlier? And earlier ultrasounds have been performed by a lady doctor over here multiple times as per the patient's information. And uh, <coughs> now I have to cut short. The femur length is 5.29 that corresponds to the gestational age of 28 weeks. Similarly, abdominal circumference is 237.7 millimeter that corresponds to the gestational age of 28 weeks. Estimated fetal weight is 1309 grams or 1.3 kg. Now up to 1000 1, grams at 28 weeks is considered to be uh, normal. Now that here what we, see, we are seeing is the baby mayor, uh, the fetus mayor uh, has the weight of uh, 1.3 kg or uh, 1. Uh, 1309 grams. So the weight is also well under <coughs> normal. Now, what is the issue? Why why is the baby is having polyhydramnios? Just wait, I'll let you know. Now this is the fetus that is uh, cephalic. And you can well see the movement of the fetus saying, yes, I'm okay. Don't worry about me. And uh, here is the facial profile. of the fetus that I am showing you is cephalic as this is the urinary bladder and uh, this is the cervix here is the head of the fetus and uh, if I apply Doppler we will see vessels within it giving pulsations This is our fetus, fetal head, circus of villas. And, uh, now, okay, let's move a bit further. Fetal profile is normal. The, uh, Fetal cardiac activity is very normal. Sorry, here we are. You can see the fetal cardiac activity. Okay, now let's move further. This is the vertebral column. We have seen the vertebral column. There is no already seen relating to it. Now you see the stomach bubble over here, and uh, it is uh, where the cardiac apex is seen. Left sided, fine. This is the liver. 
this is the gallbladder and uh, this is the umbilical cord this area the umbilical cord okay so the kidney very important case of polyiremnios This is the urinary bladder. Said that if the urinary bladder is seen, means that uh, the uh, this is the urinary bladder. Let's first evaluate this. Now this is the kidney. This area is representative of the kidney. Of the fetus, as you will see, this is the kidney. Anterior abdominal wall. This one, the liver, the diaphragm. The lungs, these are the lungs, normal cardiac flicker, neck, this is the neck region, the pathology seen in this region. Face, facial features. So this fetus is cephalic and it is a norm. These are the lower limbs of the fetus. Next, let's see the umbilical cord. This is the umbilical cord. And Now, the umbilical cord gives us the uh, resistive index of 0.53 and pulsatile index of 0.77 is two artery and one vein is with a norm. So, the uh, umbilical artery is umbilical cord is normal by all parameters. Now, having studied this, studied this uh, fetus, which is appearing uh, to be normal, is normal, but not very, this fetus is normal. And uh, you can have an eye interpretation that this is a case of polyhydramnia, or seeing amount of fetus. Then what is the cause? I am now moving you to a, a the uh, epigastric region of the patient and now moving downwards. I see, uh, you know, there is, this is the placenta number one. This is the placenta. with uh, no evidence of any, this is grade two to three placenta with no evidence of any bleed or breach, all is well so far as the placenta is concerned. The anterior wall, okay. Now there is another placenta. I see. We will see another one in a while. I'll show you. 
but let me show you one another thing interesting thing what is this this area marks the uh, fetus number 2 by eating 15.4 cm in length and this is the head of the fetus number 2 this is the body of the fetus number 2 this is the vertebral column now it's in fact a twin pregnancy this is the fetus uh, I'm going down this is the one that is pathetic and is, we studied initially in a bit detail that I could have provided that I could have provided and you can see this is the hand one, two, three, four fingers, okay, and uh, so this was normal. Now the cause of polyhydramnia is in fact this fetus which is uh, breech in presentation, this being the uh, head of the fetus, this is the head. You can see the spalling sign that is overlapping of the skull bones. This is the skull bone, this is the skull bone, this is the skull bone. Now there is overlapping of the skull bones. And uh, moreover, you, we do not see any cardiac flicker in this uh, fetus. No cardiac flicker, no blood vessel. This is the head of the fetus. Number two, we do not see any blood flow, only overlapping of the skull bones is seen, no cardiac flicker is seen, so this is a case of intrauterine fetal demise. Uh, okay, here I will show you a difference. You see now these are two bodies, two fetal bodies, though separate, not, not combined together. As you can see there is a gap between them. And if you will see this one, study this one, you will see vessels within it. And uh, then you have moved this one, you don't see any vascular activity in this fetus. This is the body of the fetus number two. This is the body of the fetus number one. This is the cardiac flicker that you are seeing. This is fetus number one. And this is the body of the fetus number two. Now this fetus, which I am, say, I am seeing is fetus number two. This is the head. And uh, this is a twin pregnancy of 28 weeks with uh, loss of uh, one baby that is fetus number two. Now, a fetus that is, uh, why I'm saying it fetus number two? Because the one that is close to the earth is always considered to be fetus number one, and the one that is away from the, uh, from the earth is uh, labeled as fetus number two. So this is fetus number one, doing okay, fine, normal, no, no problem with this one. And uh, when I, now I move up to at the epigastric region of the mother and then move the probe downwards, I get this fetus, which I am labeling as fetus number two. Okay. This is the head of the fetus, overlapping skull bones. This is the heart body, heart, no cardiac activity seen, no vasculature seen. This is the femur. Now let I tell you one thing that, uh, if you, let's see when did this demise occur? Because the normal fetus shows gestational age of uh, 28 <coughs> weeks. Now the fetal demise of this uh, fetus has occurred at about 23 weeks and the patient says that she had an ultrasound performed by the, the doctor she is following just a week back. 
these are two bodies this is the skull sorry so by transfers of the abdomen if i take a rough and make it rough so i uh, the uh, this is the transfers of the fetal abdomen number abdomen that of fetus number 2 again measuring 23 weeks so this fetal demise has occurred at 23 weeks whereas the uh, fetus number 2 movement and is consistent with the age that I showed you initially, 8 weeks and here is the fetus number 2. No fetal movement, internal anatomy of the abdomen is lost and uh, the uh, placenta of this fetus is Spend. Now this is the fetus, placenta of fetus number two, which is fundal. This one. This is the. This area that you are seeing is the placenta for the fetus uh, that is showing in, in fetal demise is seen in. So, a case of uh, twin pregnancy with uh, one active alive long fetus with uh, a gestational age of 28 weeks. The baby is waving hand to you saying, well, I am okay, fine. These are the lower limb, upper limb, hand of the fetus says, how are you doing? I am doing fine. I'm coming, whereas uh, the uh, other one is, we are sorry for it, that is uh, not alive. This is the second. So this is our case of the day. Thank you very much.